Hey guys, um, today I'm going to do a lesson on circles and cylinders, and I know this has been a problem for me for, I mean, such a long time, to make like a perfect circle in perspective, because you can just on a flat or plan drawing, you can easily just take your compass out and draw a perfect circle, but with perspective drawing, it just doesn't work. So today I'm going to teach you how to exactly do that with perspective. So first, let's start off with let's do two point perspective, which you can do one point. You can do this with one point and two point. It makes the same difference, but it's easier to show with two point. So basically, let's just start off. First, let's draw a circle. So we start off. We just draw a simple square in perspective. Okay. Okay, so we have a square. Correct. Um, so then you're going to want to make a cross, find the general midpoint of the circle. And again, with perspective, you can't exactly find midpoints, but you just kind of have to guess, really. So that's about a middle line there. And then same with the other side. So that's roughly, I mean, for what you can take. And circles are the same with like a lot of things like my other lesson I showed you a roof that there's you get to a certain point where you just have to do something by eye but basically there's a certain amount of steps that you can do before you have to judge something by eye that makes judging by eye a lot easier. So then from this cross we're going to start our circle. So you may have done this before in some other kind of drawing or something or when you don't have a compass but this works the same way so basically the circle is going to be inside of the square so we'll start by just drawing in our circle and this is why we have our cross because it helps with judging the circle this is where you have to judge but it makes it a lot easier having this to help you. You just go around and see where the circle should be in each corner. Then you have, as you can see, a decent circle inside of your square. So, then you can just erase, erase the square lines around it. And voila, you have a decent perspective circle. Now after that, if you want to just draw like a cylinder, say, or a pillar, then you go from the furthest point on the circle to the left or on the right or whatever go down glide down however far you want the cylinder to go down just go to there then same on the other side And then, as you can imagine, we make a square again. Okay. 
But you don't have to make a complete square, you can just make it like what I've done. This is basically the vicinity of what you need. And then, another judgment by the eye. You just, acting as this is a square, just like up there. You draw your circle around. Erase your lines. Just clean this up a little bit. And you can just keep rounding it about or whatever. And there you have a perspective cylinder.